Hey guys, it's Jack from Rethink Tech, back with another 3D printing video. So today I'm going to show you which slicer software I use for my 3D printer. So I use a program called Cura. It's made by an Ultimaker. It's meant for an Ultimaker, but you can also use it with any other 3D printer that uses G-code. So the first thing I do when I open up Cura is I load a model in. So you click the load button and I'm just going to print this elephant here. So I'm going to open it up. So now it pops up on the build plate. This is the build plate right here. It's the exact size, which is helpful. And so it pops up upside down because if I were to print it the other side up, it would overhang the entire belly and under the, uh, under the chin here, which would not look very good at all. So let me show you. I, there are three buttons down here. There's a rotate, scale, and mirror. So I'm just going to rotate for now. The three axes, the X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And now it's standing upright. So if I were to print this, it would overhang on the belly and, and uh, under the chin. So I'm going to keep it upside down like this so it doesn't overhang but there are a few little things under here that I might need some support for so if you go over here in, in the support section I'm gonna click support everywhere and so that's gonna add some support under the sides and the ears so I, I can see the support by clicking over here, there's a normal mode, overhang mode, transparent, x-ray, and layers. I always like to look at the layers mode every time before I print. So, so as you can see here, there's 238 layers. Uh, I'm going to go all the way down to layer 1. So it starts over here, and it starts with this honeycomb pattern. And it's going to go up, and this light blue is the support. So it prints super, super thin, so it can break off when it's all done. And then right here, it's going to print some more support material because the trunk of the elephant overhangs. So I can go back to normal. And so I'm going to show you some of my settings that I use. So on, on things that I want to print quickly, I usually use 0.2. But if something small that I want to look good, I, I print it at 0.1. For the shell thickness, I use 0.4 millimeters because that's the size of my nozzle. And the bottom thickness, I usually do 0.6, which is just enough to get the bottom adhered to the build plate. So I usually keep foot density at either 0 for hollow, 100 for solid, or probably around 30, which, is, which does uh, an, an X pattern in size, like in the layers. And as you can see, there's like a little X pattern. So I can zoom in, and it's an X pattern. So for the printing speed, I usually keep this at 60, which is actually pretty fast for my printer. Sometimes I have to turn it down when it gets too fast. The printing temperature for a PLA, I keep it at 180 degrees. That, that works best with my E3D V6 head. The bed temperature, I keep it at 70 degrees support type. Everywhere means support can be on the object, underneath the object. It can basically be everywhere on the printer bed. But if you click touching build plate, you can only touch the build plate. So there would not be support material under the trunk. It would only be touching the build plate and the elephant's back. So filament diameter is 1.75. That's what I have. And the flow, I keep it at 100%. So now I rarely go into the advanced section, but it shows your nozzle size, the retraction speed. I always use for retraction because when it goes over when it goes over distances like this, it prints, it retracts, and it starts printing over here again. So there's no strings going strings going back and forth. And all this other stuff, just basically keep it as the default when you install here. So up here at the top, it shows you 
the amount of time it should take to print this, and this is usually very, very exact. It shows you how much filament you're going to use and the grams. So you click this to load your model. You click this button to save it onto your SD card. You should, you should always have your SD card inside. And over he here, you can share it on Umake. I've never used a button before. But as you update your settings, the time and amount of filament you use will update automatically. It's not, it almost doubled because I changed it to 0.1 millimeters. So if you want something to be super strong, super thick, I usually do 0.2 or 0.3 if you want to. And at 100%. So now this object is going to be totally solid. And I should probably put some support everywhere this time. So it's underneath the trunk. And so now it looks like I'm all ready to print this elephant. I might want to make it a little bit smaller because an hour and, and a half seems a little long. I can click the scale button. I can change it here and it changes uniformly. I can click here and scale it down. It will scale, scale uniformly so everything stays the, stays the same. So now it takes nine minutes to print. Now that's way too small. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. That's probably enough. That's half an hour, maybe a little bigger. So that's an, that's almost an hour exactly. So now I'm gonna click save to toolpath. Then it'll save onto the SD card. Then I click eject here, and then take out the SD card and put it in my printer. Click print, and then I'll have my three D printed object. So thanks guys for watching this video on how to use Cura for 3D printing on your 3D printer. To subscribe for more videos like this, I'm making a playlist of all things for my 3D printer, upgrades, tutorials, prints, unboxings, things like that. Please like this video and comment down below. I'll make sure to answer all of your questions. So guys, see you in the next one.